Bioinformatics Conference is fantastic. Um, it brings together a lot of people from all over the world. Um, SciCrunch is one of the, um, the neuroinformatics projects that is discussed usually every year. Um, some of our, uh, our founders of SciCrunch and, and people who've been working with us for many years um, also are on many of the boards of the International Neuroinformatics Coordinating Facility, which uh, puts on the Neuroinformatics Conference. So um, we're among good friends, and those friends span the entire world. Neuroinformatics is this worldwide community. And the beautiful thing about the internet is that it is a world phenomenon. And when you're looking at informatics and research, it's also a worldwide phenomenon. So talking only to Americans for us would be silly. Talking only to English speaking people would be silly. We want to make sure that we actually encompass the entire world um, and understand and are able to translate between um, all of the different parts of the world. So um, INCF, the International Neuroinformatics Coordinating Facility, is, um, has chapters in the United States, it has nodes in Germany, in many other places in Europe, but also it has nodes in Japan, there's a node in China now, Korea, and other places, and of course Australia, and um, various other places in the world. This is its great strength. SciCrunch is one of the tools that's often presented. We put a lot of data together. That data comes from all over the world. Um, the people who can use it, it's an open system, so people all over the world can use it. And one of the cool things about informatics is you can take the data producers. If they do a good enough job producing that data, that data becomes open. And if it can be read by data consumers, those consumers can be anywhere else in the world. They don't need a wet lab necessarily to actually do a lot of interesting research. So this is a very good kind of an idea and thought. Okay, maybe you don't have $20,000 to buy all the mice and the antibodies and all of these things just to do some experiments. But you can get a lot of this data. Maybe you can put it together. You can actually contribute Without that, all of that money, without the wet lab necessarily, maybe you can contribute in other ways. So a lot of people are starting to pick up data sets and they're starting to find out more interesting things about those data sets. And so as open data becomes more available, there's more of it out there, it becomes more valuable. And it becomes more valuable because other people can also start to contribute to it. Um, and that is really a powerful thing. Thank you so much for, for having me. I really appreciate this opportunity to talk to you and your viewers. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Anita, for your time today and uh, shedding more light on SciCrunch as a tool and what it does. And I'm sure our viewers are going to benefit from it. So thank you once again. Thank you.